The new eruption continues with little changes, but the rapidly formed lava lake in the summit collapse crater might have reached an equilibrium between magma influx, and drain, as it has only increased little during the past 24 hours. The Volcano Observatory reported, as of 2 p.m. yesterday, the crater lake was still 176 meters, 577 feet deep, and the lake level appeared to be 2 meters, 6 feet lower leaving a narrow black ledge around the north edge. Early this morning, the west vent reactivated while the north vent quieted, and started to drain the lake. Reduced SO2 emissions were measured last night. Deflation of the summit as a result from magma being emptied from internal storage into the lake, has stopped for now, and shifted to a slow trend of inflation. This would correspond to increased internal, and external magma storage, i.e. more magma is being withheld in the underground storage system than is being erupted to the surface. It will be interesting to see if the current lava lake will follow a similar pattern as the last one active from 2008 to 2018, with alternating phases of inflation, and deflation each lasting a few days typically, so-called inflation-deflation cycles. The during each such cycle, the level of the lava lake fluctuates on the order of few meters. Another possibility is that magma intrudes into horizontal storage systems, especially the very active eastern rift zone. Kilauea's summit lava lakes can be stable for any period ranging from days to years or even decades. Park rangers have sighted dozens of people who have gathered at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park to witness an ongoing eruption of the Kilauea volcano. All it takes is a slight change in wind direction, and these offenders could inhale a fatal dose of volcanic gas, said Chief Ranger Jack Corral. One misstep or a crumbling cliff edge, and they could plunge into the vast pit of molten rock or to the crater floor. We want to keep the park open so everyone can safely experience this beautiful new eruption, but when visitors enter closed areas, rangers must concentrate on these few individuals. This puts our staff in hazardous situations. The eruption was contained in an area of the park that has been closed since 2007, and where there are dangerous levels of volcanic gas, rockfalls, explosions, and volcanic glass particulates, the Honolulu Star Advertiser reported.